Today I'm making Cuban style picadillo for dinner. We started watching the premiere of In the Heights and not even halfway through we paused because Abuela had picadillo on her stovetop and we had to have some. This is going to be good. To start, I'm going to create a seasoning mix. Here I have two teaspoons of paprika, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of Mexican oregano, one teaspoon of ground cumin, and a half teaspoon of cracked black pepper, and just give it a mix. This is what I'm going to season the ground beef with. You could also use sazon or adobo seasoning, it all works, but this is what I'm using today. Here I've been preheating my pan with about a tablespoon and a half of cooking oil. Now I'm going to add one small onion that I chopped. I'm also adding half of a bell pepper. This is a green bell pepper. I'm going to saute this until the onions are translucent and to help sweat them out, I'm going to add a pinch of salt and just continue the saute for about five to seven minutes or until everything is softened and translucent like this. Now I'm going to add two cloves of garlic that I minced now just saute for a minute or so, and I do have this on a medium high heat setting. So now I'm going to add one pound of lean ground beef. This is actually a 93 to 7% ratio, and I'm just going to break this apart and start to cook. Here I'm going to add all of that seasoning mix that I created, and now continue to break apart the ground beef, saute, and cook through. This will take some time, and again, I do have a medium-high heat setting. Now that my ground beef is cooked through, I'm going to add one tablespoon of tomato paste. Now, I thought I had regular tomato paste, and it's actually sun-dried tomato paste, and that's why it kind of looks oily. But I'm just going to combine this and cook for about a minute or so. Next, I'm going to add a half cup of low sodium beef broth and a quarter cup of dry white cooking wine. Give that a mix. I'm also going to be adding two thirds cup of tomato puree. You could also use tomato sauce. Combine well. And you can skip the cooking wine and just add extra beef broth, by the way. Here I'm adding 10 small olives that I cut into half. Give that a mix. And you'll want to add salt to taste. I'm going to start with a half teaspoon of salt, and after it's done, I'll give it a taste, and if it needs more, I will adjust the salt to preference. So cover with a lid and let it simmer over a low heat for about 20 minutes. I'm also going to be serving this with fried plantain or platano maduro. This is ripe plantain. And here I've already cooked my white rice, and this is just going to be a great dinner to finish watching this movie. My husband saw that scene and he couldn't stop thinking about the picadillo, so I had to make him some so he can try it. And I don't know, this is kind of fun for movie night. Okay, so at this point, my picadillo is done. I'm going to turn off the heat and check this out. Now, my meat was very lean, so if there's any extra oil or rendered fat in the pan, it probably came from the olives, the tomato paste I used, and the cooking oil that I started with. So, this is done. It smells fantastic, so I'm ready to serve a plate. So I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it and thanks for watching.